Did you ever wonder why suggestion systems never seem to really work? The suggestion system was probably initiated by someone in human resources who thought it would be a good idea to solicit ideas from the common folk. Didn't they know that the common folk always had great ideas? They just didn't have a way to express them? I wonder if these same inventors of the typical suggestion system also installed one within their own home to encourage their reclusive children to come up with ideas to improve the family experience. Their suggestion system would probably work something like this. Suggestion boxes like this one would be installed in key areas throughout the house. Perhaps one in the kitchen, one outside of the kids' bedroom, and one near the punch clock by the front door to track when the children leave and return to work uh, home. The kids, initially excited about the pro program, would then submit an idea on a suggestion form for home improvement and place them into a locked suggestion box. The box was locked so the other siblings would not steal the idea. But then the younger kids would stop turning in ideas after their first attempt because they had no idea how to financially justify the idea. I think the parents did this on purpose. Next, the kids with a short attention span would stop submitting ideas because they would grow tired of not receiving any immediate feedback due to the fact that their parents would only meet once a quarter to review the new suggestions. The most responsive, responsible children would also grow tired of the program because they would not be included in the presentation of their ideas to the selection committee, mom and dad, and if by some remote chance that their suggestion was accepted, they were not allowed to be involved in the implementation phase. The typical suggestion system would fail, just as it does in most companies, because it does not respect the individual. If you want suggestions from your kids, ask them for their ideas, give them the everyday ability to vocalize their ideas, allow them to pitch their ideas, encourage them to make mistakes and learn from them, and then work with them and help them implement their ideas. And then go back to work and do this with your employees. I'm the wise guy, Mike McElright.